guys, it's Leverda1 here, and today we are going to be pushing my computer to the limits, making the largest ring system we possibly can. So, first off, let's take these obnoxiously nasty gas giants and fix them up a bit. So, first off, we gotta increase the mass to far larger than that. Let's make it around. Now, it's just 0.5 Jupiters. Then we're going to fix the composition. No, none of this is exactly relevant, but it's it's incredibly bothersome to have these unrealistic gas giants, as I've mentioned many times in the video. In addition, if we want to make this easier on ourselves, we will have to fix the orientation of the planet. So, let's take a look at the um, motion. Uh, where is it? I can't find it. Uh, obliquity, why can't we edit the obliquity? Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Alright, so let's try something. We're going to start small and get more obnoxious. Alright, ring 2 to 4 radii works. And by the way, we're going to be building onto this. I'm not going to delete it and open up a new simulation. So just warning you about that. Actually, I'm more warning myself about that because I'm the one who owns this computer and is going to be crying when it melts to bits. Alright, let's add a geosynchronous. Yeah, geosynchronous out of this. Do we get it? Let's see it. Maybe the problem is this thing orbits. Oh, yep, there we go. The problem is this dumb planet's. Is this some Welsh word? Ozer in nod to anasid. Ozer in a tune yasid. I'm probably gonna spend too much time trying to interpret this and not focus on this on the video, so yeah. Alright, let's add on our ordered ring. Alright, looks like that's in a decently non obnoxious position. Unlike this thing. Alright. Charlico Inner. What is this nonsense of blood? Uh, okay. That's weird. Charlico Outer. Uh, Alright, let's, let's add some Saturn rings to this. Ooh boy, that's already gone. Um... Alright, let's keep on going. Let's add Jupiter ring. Uh, what happened to the Jupiter ring? I'm not seeing that Jupiter ring. Again, Jupiter's ring's kind of small and inconspicuous, so that's not a surprise, actually. Alright, let's put Uranus is on. Are we gonna get anything? There is the possibility that none of these will actually go in there. Alright. I think this section is where things are going to start being a problem. Right, let's add our spiral height. Ooh boy. That is not going to go good for this simulation. Also, it doesn't look pleasant either. Why'd they do this? It doesn't look very spiral to me. Knows. I mean, on, on the inside, it's looking a little better, but this here doesn't look too spiral to me. I mean, it is cool, though. Alright, let's try not to go in or inward, because it's clearly not going to go well. Then we got this. We got the spiral flat, which is the sane cousin of the spiral height. Is that right? Ooh boy, uh, I can't look too long. Um, oh yeah, that's the spiral. That's the spiral height. I thought maybe those Uranus rings actually showed up or something. Um, let's try a 2D grid. Wonder how that'll work out. Oh wow. Okay, that's pretty cool though. We got, we got, still got that. 
pulse disguised as a ring thing flying out. Let's keep going then. Is that a cube? Alright, we've. <laughs> shape is just getting worse and worse. Alright, moons. Oh, I'm scared. This is, this is not gonna be. Oh. Well then. Yeah. I don't know what I expected. Should have just made a second uh, colliding a bunch of moons video, but. Oh well. So much for nice looking rings, at least on the inside. But this is this is this is only gonna get more 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 obnoxious. Let's once the dust has semi settled here, we're gonna add a moon sphere. I knew rings could be so dope, boy. Oh, now I'm already feeling sorry for my poor PC. Um. And again, poor PC. That's an that's an oxymoron, cause <laughs> you can't be poor if you can afford a PC these days. Um. Oh boy. Uh, I I feel the pain of my my computer as it runs this. I can feel the pain. I'm, I I brag about this too much, but this thing has an Nvidia graphics card. It's, you you can tell that stuff is getting real. Um, if, if it's doing this. Alright, let's... Sphere surface. Oh yeah, more chaos. Sounds like chaos. Let's add chaos. And, uh... Well, I just reduced the frame rate to about... 3 per second, so that, that works for me. I should have disabled fragments, because it's going to be a big problem. All I'm hearing are lots of explosions and the sound of my computer slowly dying. As well as this ordered grid. This grid is looking a bit less ordered now. Alright, well, keeping my promise, we're going to go through every single ri ring system possible. So let's, let's add on this. Ooh, yay, more particles to burn out the last embers of my graphics card. Gotta love it. Alright. <laughs> Ordered disc. Let's add that in. Ow, 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 ow. I, I can... I now can f physically feel the pain of my computer. Quite possibly because my desk is on fire. Alright. Let's... Ordered sphere. I don't know how much I can push my computer through this sort of chaos. I mean, we're already down to 25 minutes per second here. And I just have that, so. Wonderful. Let's zoom out a little bit more. So, this is now the safe distance in which my frame rate won't die completely. It used to be just a. Uh, used to be just outside of this area right here then expanded to around this area and now I have to be all the way out here in order to not experience this pain see frame rate increases and then you go in and boom the frame rate drops like a barrel oh I said barrel barrels don't unless someone knocks them over barrels don't tend to drop um let ordered cylinder. Yeah, let's go for that. This already looks like my Boy Scout knots, and that's scary because I have to go through through a rank up soon, and and that's no good when your knots look like this. Yep, yes, sir. These trails and dust particles. Those are all the string ends of my knots, and uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> Alright, an asteroid belt. S sounds good to me. Ooh boy, uh... 
All right. Well, since we're just completely murdering uh, my computer right now, let's keep it up. Let's, I know, just the thing, the, just the laggy universe sandbox content that can make this all better. And I'm also scared I'm gonna crash my computer and I'm gonna have to restart this. All right, so, so we get the sun. Get another star. No, it's too small. Another star. And we do that. You're welcome. You're welcome, computer. Now we zoom in. And surprisingly, that frame rate is only dropping a little bit. You'd think with that whole thing obliterating the. actually improved the frame rate that's the saddest part of the frame rate but the the step rate here which uh, a moment ago was it was so red you'd get that Doppler science guy Doppler is there a guy named Doppler who invented the Doppler effect I really should know this stuff before I do videos on science and anyway yeah We'll call him Doppler for now. I'll, I'll make sure that I am not being an incompetent fool, but yeah, I'm sure that Doppler guy would have been interested in measuring the effect of this little tea kettle of a step counter here. Oh boy, man. Didn't lose any. Ah, the. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy. Well. Honestly, I think all that stuff should have been blown away by the expanding cloud of gas that smackerdoodled right into it. By the way, while I do make fun of the universe sandbox supernova textures, I think they're a lot better than before. I, I heard they updated that and uh, they do look better even though parts disappear and reappear at times. It's got a much more 3D aspect to it. Alright, uh, this video is kind of short because I had to spend eight hours babysitting my nephew today. It's been a little short on time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Lever to one, signing out.